Prior to 1997, it was unthinkable, really, to say China and Hong Kong in the same sentence. But in 1997, the British who ruled Hong Kong left and left the country to the rightful uh, lease, leasers. The people that leased Hong Kong to the British were, in fact, the Chinese. And they, they're, the British uh, uh, um, uh, lease expired in 1997. So since then, um, violent, it was pretty calm until recently, until the Chinese started to squeeze the... Uh, you know, squeeze the old testicles of the Hong Kong people, mainly in an extradition bill. So uh, the extradition bill, meaning that if any crimes occur in Hong Kong, technically anybody there could be extradited to mainland China, mainland communist China, for persecution. So political speech, uh, you know, religious freedoms can be prosecuted in mainland China. In what Hong Kong used to enjoy, as a you know, Hong Kong used to enjoy a free, uh, you know, a free a free society. So the the Hong Kong people are not tolerating it, and I know it's not a sexy subject for Americans. This is you know, you guys would much rather be talking about Jeffrey Epstein and the scandalous, you know, um, <laughs> type of stories, right? But here we are. We're go- let's take a look. So so violence is breaking out. The situation in Hong Kong is rapidly deteriorating with violence uh, breaking out in seven locations Monday afternoon as the citywide strike crippled transportation. So yesterday I reported on um, the the potential uh, strike, and the strike was executed, and it was executed well, and um, uh, it results in violence, you know, breaking out on the street. So white-shirted triad members beat protesters. I don't know who's who. It seems like they had these have black, and these have white, and they all have sticks and umbrellas. These guys are wearing yellow, yellow uh, helmets. What was supposed to be a peaceful sit-in in in different districts turned into riots, with Wang Tai Sin and Harcourt Road seeing the most intense uh, confrontations as protesters kneel instead of flee to shield uh, themselves. Uh, while tear gas rounds and sponge grenades rain on them. Hmm. So here's some of the imagery. It seems like, you know, yellow vest France all over again. In fact, they're even wearing yellow vests. It seems like it seems it's just hard to say who's on whose side. There seems to be there seems to be locals that are in opposition, and there seems to be the the protesters who are against, I guess, the opposition, the the uh, the silent majority, and the police. So two million people are alleged to have been protesting in um, in Hong Kong. And there's 7 million people in the country. So that's about a, a, a quarter of the country is in protest. There seems to be a lot of yellow helmets. I can't distinguish white shirt from black shirt. You definitely know the police are coming. Umbrella seems to be the uh, seems to be the tool of choice in terms of blocking, you know, sponge bullets and and uh, tear gas and you know uh, pepper spray. Police on the march, you see it. Now, I guess this this crowd down here is immune because they have press, something with press on it. I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> to be honest. So uh, protesters spoo, uh, threw a suspect. Protesters threw a suspected gasoline bomb at police after first being attacked by bricks. Hmm. A suspect gasoline bomb was thrown by protesters to police. Let's see. <laughs> Molotov cocktails. 
crazy, you know. It's crazy what's going on. It seems like, uh, is it because we have more cameras and more coverage around the world, or is is the world just becoming more a more dangerous place? What's clear is that the Hong Kong people are not playing. Nobody wants to get extradited to mainland China. They want their independence, and they're, and they're, they're fighting for it. Again, the umbrellas. Whenever there's police, there's massive umbrellas. It's obviously not raining. You can see the sun. I mean, that's not that's not a million people. That's a few, maybe two thousand. But it's breaking out in seven different districts. Fight, fighting broke out between protesters and local residents while reports of white shirt men believed to be triad gang members uh, began beating protesters as, as the evening developed. Wow. So gang members, this is a good, there's a couple of good videos of that. Let's see. That's a shorty. This is a really good one. Watch this shit. It's like it's like fucking kung fu movie. Watch this shit. <laughs> a lot of action, right? <laughs> those sticks can't be nice, man. Look at the size of those sticks. They're, they're jabbing them. Throwing pins, throwing, throwing, throwing detour pins, sticks. So I don't know. I guess the white. I, I'm not sure who the protesters are and who the gangs are. I think the white, the white shirts are the, uh, the gang members, and and the the black shirts with the umbrellas and the, and the, the helmets are the protesters. Unusual. I mean, I guess you have to be from Hong Kong to understand exactly what's going on. But nonetheless, there is violence erupting on the streets. That is for sure. Is this? Uh, is the aftermath? Protesters chased the man with sticks up the hill and broke the windows of residential buildings to clarify unclear to clarify unclear if men with sticks are residents yeah me too over overheard some speaking in cantonese and some speaking mandarin there's a it's a mixed culture it's mostly in hong kong it's a lot it's mostly cantonese but they do speak mandarin because of main, mainland china they also speak hujanese I would have to say these are the protesters. You know? That's my guess. Guy has a Merrill Lynch in there. I don't see any pink umbrellas. Black umbrellas, yellow umbrellas, no pink. I guess those are bamboo poles or something. What seems to be clear is that it's going to get uglier and uglier. Especially if they try to arrest somebody for political speech. There's newspapers in Hong Kong. Hong Kong was, you know, a... a a beacon of democracy for a long time. All the banks were there. They definitely don't like somebody inside that building. There we go. So, protest strikes and tear gas across Hong Kong. These are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Uh, Hong Kong Disneyland. We think of Hong Kong as a... Uh,
So you think of Hong Kong, I always thought of Hong Kong as one big piece of land, but it seems to be broken down. Hong Kong Disneyland, Hong Kong Airport. There's a lot of, it seems to be a lot of pieces. Like you might definitely boat, a boat to get around Hong Kong. What else? Some, uh, I don't know, Chinese writing, firebomb, popo room. A lot of fire, a lot of fire bombs getting thrown around. Protesters set fire at, at the besieged police stations. Throw national flag into water as chaos reigns across Hong Kong. One woman was paraded through the streets after her underwear had been either removed or fallen off during her arrest. <laughs> Crazy. Sad. Another video, what else is going on here? Naked woman parading through parading through the street. So in response to the unrest, Cathay Pacific Airlines canceled over 150 flights, um, urged customers not to fly Monday and Tuesday, and said it would uh, waiver fees for rebooking. Hong Kong Airways, 2,300 aviation workers took part in the strike. See, that's how you do it. General, big general strike. Just cripple them. Um, HKD running for the exits before Beijing's planned massacre. Um, investors, not, not physical massacre, but a, a uh, financial massacre. So, I don't know. It's just a story. I mean, I'm going to keep following it. I know, again, it's not sexy for Americans. You'd rather be talking about, you know, some kind of salacious, uh, you know, uh, <laughs> uh, National Enquirer type of stuff, right? But yellow journalism. But it's real, you know, and it, it is, it's very revealing that we'll see in Hong Kong if 25% of the country can take back their democracy, take it back. Honestly, I don't think they will. Sadly, uh, China has it in writing that, that uh, Hong Kong is technically a property of, um, you know, China. And um, I don't know. I mean, they should have thought about that before they handed it over from the British. They, fought, they should have fought for the British to not uh, leave. They were, so, they were so excited about getting, getting the British out. <clears throat> and now what? Now, now you're left with civil war. You're left with, um, you know, defecting from China, who is very powerful and has a military, and you got nothing. In fact, your water flows out of mainland China, so what are you going to do? Marcus Conte reporting.